In this section, I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful category section for this website. You can notice here we have different categories here and when you hover on these categories, we have beautiful hover effect on it. Now let's see how to create it. So I'm going to just back to my editor and I'm going to just open my index.html file. And you know that this is my banner area. So just out of that, just out of this banner in the main tag, I'm going to simply create here a multi-line command and just specify here categories section. And I'm going to just specify here closing command, which indicate this is the end of categories section. And inside it, I'm going to create my categories. So I'm going to first start with the section tag. And to this section, I'm going to specify categories class. And inside these categories, I'm going to simply create a container. So I'm going to say here container. You know that we have this class in the grid.css file. So this class will make this section responsive. Now in this container, I'm going to simply create my division tag with the class flex, flex row and flex wrap. Now as you can see, we have three classes to this division tag and all these three classes is global classes. If you just open your global.css file, you can notice we have all these three classes in this global section. Right here, you can notice we, we have all these three classes in this global section. So we just specify display flex, flex direction row, and flex wrap property to this division tag. In this div, I'm going to simply add here an anchor tag and specify hash here. And to this anchor tag, I'm going to specify class link. And in this anchor tag, I'm going to simply call a span tag and specify the hard coded value all. Now, when I open my website, you can notice I have here a text all. So you're not going to see this text because we have this background color to this body section. I'm, I'm going to just remove the style. So I'm going to just open my style.css and remove the style from the body section. Now you can see we have this all category here. So I'm going to create few more categories, which is commercial, natural, people, photography, travel, and uncategorized. So I'm going to create that categories as well. So I'm going to simply open my index.html file. And just out of that, I'm going to copy this anchor tag paste it down here I'm going to change this text to commercial then copy and paste this anchor tag again right here and I'm going to just change this text to natural then I'm going to copy and paste the anchor tag again and change this text to people then I'm going to paste it again and change it to photography now that's upon you which category you want you can specify your own category as well instead of specifying these categories and i'm going to just say here travel and the last i'm going to just specify here uncategorized category save all the changes if you open your website you can notice you have different categories here now let me just style these categories and make it more attractive let me just style these categories so i'm going to simply open my style.css file and just toggle this window on the right side so you will see the live result and I'm going to just create a new category section right down here. So I'm going to simply add here a command and just say categories section. I'm going to first select the categories class. So I'm going to first select here main tag. So I'm going to select here main area. Then I'm going to select categories and I want to add some padding to it first. So I'm going to add here padding to the top and bottom, which is 3 fm. So I'm going to specify 3 rem to the top and bottom and 0 for the left and right. When I save the changes, this will add some padding to this category section. Then I'm going to simply select the span tag, these ones. Select the main area again. Then select the categories and then select the anchor tag. And inside it, I'm going to have the descendant span tag. I'm going to select the span tags and specify border to it. The border is going to be one pixel solid and specify color to this border. So I'm going to call here a variable, which is light. Just out of that, I'm going to just specify padding to it. The padding is going to be 10 pixel to the top and bottom and 20 pixel for the left and right. Save so all the changes. This will add some padding to it. You can notice we have light border to this category section. Just out of that, I'm going to specify border radius to this border. So I'm going to simply specify here border radius 
is going to be 50 pixel. This will add border radius. And then I'm going to specify margin left. Margin left property will add margin to this span tag, which is 1.5 rem. So this will add margin left to these categories and add some space between these categories. Then I'm going to simply add background color to it. So I'm going to add here background, call the var function and specify light color to it. See all the changes. So this will specify light color to these categories. Then I'm going to simply specify box shadow. And I'm going to call a variable here, box shadow 2. So we have this variable in the variables.css file. So I'm going to use that variable here. And the color of these categories is going to be gray. So I'm going to call here a var function and specify gray color to it. So this will just change the color of these categories. Just out of that, I want to add a transition to all these properties. So I'm going to say here transition to all my properties and specify 0.5 second is save the changes and now I want to create hover effect and the focus effect on these categories. So when I hover on these categories, I want to change the background color of these categories. So I'm going to simply copy this font tag and paste it down here. I'm going to just create hover effect. So I'm going to create hover effect on this anchor tag. So I'm going to add here hover. And just out of that, I'm going to create focus event as well. So I'm going to paste the selector again. And on the anchor tag, I'm going to say focus. Now, when I hover on this anchor tag, and when I, when I focus on the anchor tag, I'm going to just specify background color to it. So I'm going to specify here background and specify my variable here. So I'm going to simply call primary color here. When you save the changes, you can notice when you hover on this anchor tag, you're going to get this type of hover effect to these categories. Now just out of that, I'm going to just specify border color to these categories. So I'm going to say here border color and the border color is going to be the primary color. So I'm going to say here primary color. When I save the changes, this will add border color to these categories and I'm going to change the color of the text. So I'm going to say here color, call the var function and specify light variable to it save it and you can notice we have light color to these categories just out of that i'm going to just remove this box shadow from these categories so i'm going to say here box shadow none i'm going to just remove this box shadow when i hover on it so it will just remove this box shadow from these categories as simple as that so as you can see the category section is now ready now in this lecture i'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful grid layout using our own grid system so I'm going to show you how you can create this two column layout using the grid system. So I'm going to specify eight column space to this first column and just specify four column space to this second sidebar column. You can notice in the first column, I have my different articles. In these articles, we have the feature image. Then we have the article written by admin, then the date of the article. Then we have the title and the description of this article. At the bottom, we have categories of these articles. So we can filter this article anytime. On the right side, I have the sidebar. In the sidebar, we have latest post. So we have five latest posts here. Then we have the search box. Then we have the popular tags. So I'm gonna first show you how you can create this beautiful layout. And then I'm gonna start creating this beautiful article. So let's see how to create it. So I'm gonna simply open my editor. To create this beautiful section, I'm gonna first open my index.html file. And inside it, just start of these categories, I'm going to just create this section right down here. So just out of this category, I'm going to create here another section. So I'm going to first create here a command. And then I'm going to specify here post area. And I'm going to just end this command. So I'm going to add here command and say end post area. And inside this command, I'm going to create two column layout. So I'm going to first start with the section tag and specify a class to it, post area. And inside this post area, I'm gonna have a wrapper class to wrap both these columns. So I'm gonna call here a wrapper class and inside it, I'm gonna have two columns. So we know that in the grid.css file, we have row class to create this grid system. So I'm gonna just call this row class. So I'm gonna just simply say here row 
and inside this row i'm going to have two columns so i'm going to simply call here call 8 lg so this will specify eight column space to this division tag only if we have large viewport just out of that i'm going to add here call 12 md so this class will specify the space for this division tag only if we have medium size of devices so when i press tab i'm going to have two classes to this division tag so the first class will specify eight column space to this division tag only if the viewport is large and the second class will specify the 12 column space to this division tag only for the medium size of devices right now just out of that i'm going to create one more column here so this is my first column and in this column we have all the articles so this is going to be the first column this one where we have all the articles just out of that i'm going to create my sidebar column so i'm going to simply call here a division tag with the class call for lg just out of that i'm going to specify call 12 md class also to this division tag now to this division tag what i'm going to do is i want to specify four column space if the viewport is large and i'm going to specify 12 column space if the viewport is medium now if you just calculate these both columns we have 12 column space to both these division tag and if you open the viewport for the medium size of devices you can notice i'm going to specify 12 column space for both these division tag just start that in the first column right here i'm going to add my articles so before i add any articles here i'm going to first add here a command and just say here to columns layout so i'm going to just create here h1 heading tag and i'm going to say here article and uh, in the second column right here i'm going to create h1 heading tag and say sidebar save the changes now when you open your website you can notice we have two column space here right so this is my first column and this is the second one now let me just open my inspect tool and just click on this mobile viewport so i'm going to just click on this toggle device toolbar when i click on it this will just change this viewport to the mobile one now let me just open my desktop viewport which is 1920 let me just decrease the size of this viewport you can notice here just take a look at this article and this sidebar this will just change its size depending on the viewport when we reach the medium size of devices you can notice the grid layout will automatically change the size of these columns so this will just make these columns responsive let me just close this inspect tool now in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful article using this beautiful image. So, I will see you in the next one.